Yes, you got a bad doctor's report. But you're God's child. You're the beloved of God. I just feel it. It's that love relationship that gives us our confidence. That assurance in our spirits that in spite of what you go through, all will be okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. All will be okay. In the mighty name of Jesus. God has provided for us in scripture. Every word that tells us that we should not be sick again. By his stripes, we were healed. It is possible to live in divine health and live a full life without any sickness. But it cannot happen when you're not awakened to that love. It's possible to have divine provision until the day you die. But you cannot when you're not awakened to that love. It's possible to have a successful marriage. Raise which is of God. We're wasting time running marriages on the love which is of the world. That one is feeling oriented. It's emotionally unstable. It is time bound. It's friendship. Eros first and then a cup. I love you with the love of God as long as you're still my friend. If you cross me, I don't love you. But God is talking about that love which is of God that even if they do anything to you and the rain is coming, you put an umbrella on our head and say, okay, yeah, I know we are not bad. But I can't let it rain. You understand? It rain. You understand? When a man has a gap, you tell him, be faithful. When a man has a gap, you tell him, come back home and he don't cheat. Share your time with your wife and tell her your finances. No, it's a gap. It cannot hide who it is. It's exposed. It's, it's natural. Agape never fails. It never fails. You don't walk alone. You don't go to church alone. You don't sit in your car alone. You don't eat alone. You don't breathe alone. You don't go to work alone. This is the boldness we have in God. Hallelujah. This is the confidence that we have in Him. Hallelujah. That we know that He heareth us. How can you be poor? I cannot be poor. All things are mine. That's why I shine. Because they are all attracted to me. Surely goodness and mercy shall. What do they do? They follow you. All things are yours. And that is why I decree upon your life. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. Listening. People will look at you in amazement. You will do things and people will just wonder. You will pass and, and people's jaws will drop like. Why? Because God has anointed you. He has put his spirit upon your life. I refuse that you be a mediocre. I refuse that you will walk the life of predictable people. I refuse. I refuse. It doesn't matter whether you're born in a poor family. It doesn't matter whether you come from a poor country. It doesn't matter whether you didn't have this or you didn't have that or you were not raised by your father or your mother wasn't there. It doesn't matter whether you're not. And it's about time for you to stop victimizing yourself. Put ye on the Lord Jesus. Coramando Siba. The time dimension is circular. That is why the understanding of true timing, eight, is preparation. To know that, yes, I missed it that time. But if it comes back this time, let me prepare myself this one more time. That if the opportunity comes, I take it. God doesn't need 20 years. The God I'm talking about can change your destiny now. He can change your event now. He can change your family now. And now I am old and I have never seen the righteous for second, nor his seed begging bread. He says he is ever merciful, number one. And he lendeth, that means he's a giver. And his seed is blessed. Why is his seed blessed? Because he's a giver. And the next verse says, the law of his God is in his heart and none of his steps shall fly because the word of God is in his spirit. You have the way. He says I'm the way. I am the truth. He says I'm the life. Nobody gets to the Father except through me. And I into the realm of Christ. You are in the realm of Christ. He says in many things we offend. But if a man offend not in speech. He says that man is a perfect man. Ever to breed of the whole body. In other words, God gives you the grace to give direction to the body of Christ. There is grace that comes when you choose to believe in yourself. And what God has put in you respect the anointing don't speak below the anointing on your life some of us it is dangerous the bible says if you're serious about living this resurrected life act like it exercise 
you don't get intimidated by circumstances things just don't throw you off no even if you're sad you're only sad for a moment and then something comes up in your spirit and say but ah uh, ah uh, uh, no building yourself up in your most holy faith if you don't understand what to say just speak in tongues before you know it what was like a big deal do i have a witness why do you still walk like a poor woman why do you look like you're being dumped why do you dress like you're not loved why do you speak like you're rejected if you believe you're rich you're growing the muscle of wealth if you believe that you're healthy you're growing the muscle of divine health listen some of us have too much spiritual muscle that we can't be shaken join our online family spread the love and follow us on our facebook twitter and instagram subscribe to our YouTube channel Venero make manifest amidst his circumstances that man you're going to dance out of poverty you're going to dance out of lack you're going to dance out of disease hey! you're going to dance out of struggle Even the blessed will call you blessed. The rich will call you rich. The wise will call you wise. The happy will call you happy. Okay? Hallelujah. The, the great will call you great. The influential will call you influential. Okay? The powerful will call you powerful. Those in glory will call you glorious. The anointed will call you anointed. You'll be above the average people. Hallelujah. This is love made perfect. John says, this is love made perfect. This is agape made perfect. That we may have boldness on the day of judgment. In fact, the word there for judgment is crisis. That we might have boldness on the day of crisis. That in the time when you're in trouble, you'll carry a boldness. That the time when you feel pain in your body, you'll carry a boldness. That in the time when your finances are frustrated, you'll carry a boldness. That the time when your marriage is shaken, you'll carry a boldness. That the time when you receive a bad report about your relative, you'll carry a boldness. That the time when you are fired or you're disturbed from your career, you carry a boldness. The Bible says, because as he is, so are we in this world. You must learn how to deal with the people that are able to promote you spiritually. God has a way of anointing people for us, of separating people for our destiny. He has set certain people ahead of us. He has set certain people with us. He has set certain people below us. The presence of God is so defining for us when we understand not only how to deal with those that are above us, but even those that are with us or below us. It's important too. Some of you, <laughs> your destinies are going to change even when you had not woken up to change them. But because there is a DNA inside you. The Bible says, be not forward, be not self-assertive and boastfully ambitious in the presence of the king. And stand not in the place of great men. If you're standing before someone who you know is more anointed than you are. Who you know is wiser than you are? Who you know is richer than you are? The biggest mistake you would do is to stand in the presence of that person boastfully ambitious, forward, self-assertive. Because every time you stand before one bigger, you stand before them to catch a vision bigger than you are. And if you know that you're seeking for a vision bigger than you are, then humble yourself before that vision. I have seen people who talk too much in the presence of people who know better than them have seen it if you're sure that god has spoken to you about a thing if you're confident that the essence of god is in that vision regardless of how many times it faints you continue doing it you don't give up that is how we win in adversity you don't draw back to perdition no we are them that hold and believe to the saving of the soul to the miracle we stick on that thing until it works 
when you feel like you're out of wit's end and you're out of the power and energy to fight, the moment you can breathe and get up on your feet, walk again and go to that same place and tell the devil you think you started a war, you can play hard, but I play long and I will win whether you want it or not. Why? Because I'm more than a conqueror by Christ which strengthens me. You don't give up. It has made you ready. It is achieving for your glory that even when that thing stands in front of you, it can only stand in front of you because God knows you have the ability to beat it.